Welcome to Electron Line. Well, here's our first polynomial. We call that the first generator polynomial. And the formula is 1 plus x to the third plus x to the tenth. Again, those are not exponents. It simply means it's a third bit and the tenth bit in a ten bit string in a register in a piece of hardware. At the beginning of each one millisecond, remember there's going to be 1,023 bits of information or chips being sent out. And so we need to go through this process 1,023 times, 1,024 times. At the beginning of every millisecond, we reset all the bits in the register back to 1. What we're going to do here, the process is as follows with the first polynomial. The process is we take the third bit and we take the 10 bit. We sum them. Whatever the result of that is goes over here and replaces what's in bit 1. All the other bits get shifted over and the one here gets sent off, well, or whatever the contents are, in this case it will be one, whatever the contents are in position 10 will be sent out to polynomial 2 to be summed with the summation of some bits of that second polynomial then to be sent out as the code going out from the satellite to the receiver. And we'll step through the process so you can see how this works. The first step is to sum up 3 and 10. Now when we sum those, those up, they're both ones. So in the first step we have 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. If it's even, that then reverts back to 0. If it's odd, then it reverts to a 1. So if this was 1 plus 0, we'd get a, we'd get a 1. If it's 1 plus 1, we change the 2 back to 0. Therefore, when we sum 3 and 10 together, we get a 0. It's called the XOR process. And that means that if they're both equal to 1, we actually end up with a 0. That 0 then gets fed in, replaces this one here. Everything will shift over one spot, and we'll get a 0 here on the next iteration. This becomes 0. Everything else moves over. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And the last one goes off to polynomial 2, which gets summed with some other uh, bits or with some other values in that particular polynomial. This would then be, so call this step one, we'll call this step two. In step two, we're going to take the contents of three and the contents of ten, sum them together, a one plus one, one plus one equals two, which again becomes a zero, and that means that this zero gets fed, we split into position one, everything over, everything else shifts over one, so this is step two. On step three, we'll get a zero, a zero, and everything else will be one, 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 one. And again, the one gets shipped over to the, so this one got shipped over to polynomial two. On the next step, we again take three and 10. We sum them together. Three is a one, 10 is a one. Again, we get one plus one, which is two, which becomes zero. That then gets fed into position one. And I think at this point, you can see the pattern. So next we'll get 0, 0, everything else shifts over, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then at the same time this gets shipped over to polynomial 2. So at this point we would have three of the chips of the 1023 chipset that we're trying to put together in that one millisecond. Now you can see that something is different. When we go to step 4, you can see now that the contents of 3 is 0, and the content of 10 is 1. If we now sum those together, 0 plus 1, we get a 1. That then gets fed back into this register. So when that comes around, we get a 1, we get a 0, 0. Everything else shifts over, so the three zeros now shift over, and everything else is a 1. And at the same time, the content of 10 went over to polynomial 2 to get summed up. Let's do it one more time. So we have the content of 3. So this is step 5 now. The content of 3 and the content, content of 10, that would be 0 plus 1, which is equal to a 1. That gets fed through and is put into register 1. So this becomes uh, 1. Everything else shifts over. This one goes over here. That's a 1. The three zeros, 1, 2, 3. And then all the 1s get shifted over by 1. And the 1 that was in, register in the 10th location here goes into the polynomial 2 process. And that then gets repeated 1,023 times, each time summing up what's, what the contents are in location 3, contents in location 10, they get summed together. Whatever that result is, will go into register 1 and everything gets shifted over. Whatever's in, in, in position 10 
will then get sent to polynomial 2 to get processed there. Again, notice, and we'll do that here, if you have a 0 plus 0, that ends up in a 0. A 1 plus 0, that's equal to 1. A 0 plus 1, that equals 1. But if they're both 1, that comes out to be a 0. So that's the process we're following here. And that then, whenever that gets summed, whatever that result is, goes into register 1, and everything shifts over by one spot. And that gets done 1,023 times. The 1,024th time, everything gets reset. They all go back to 1. That message is then sent out during the duration of a, one, of a single millisecond, and then the whole process starts over again, and the same message gets sent time and time again, every millisecond, and the contents of that will then indicate to the receiver that this is coming from a specific space vehicle, from a specific satellite. Again, this first part of the poly polynomial 1 process only feeds polynomial 2. It doesn't actually put the real code out yet. That gets done in the next polynomial process, so in the next video, we'll then take a look at polynomial 2 and see how it processes the bits there in order to put out that PRN code. And that's how it's done.